this very short screencast is going to be dealing with the type of bacterial growth on plates. And so you have a worksheet uh, and that worksheet um, is titled Types of Bacterial Growth on Agar Plates. And I want to take you through that because there's a couple of important distinctions to note. You'll notice the left-hand column of that uh, worksheet says bacterial lawn, visual appearance description, and what this indicates about the environment. So please complete that as you listen to the screencast. And then the right-hand column is bacterial, bacteria colonies. Again, visual appearance. We want you to draw a picture, description, what does it look like? Uh, and then what does this indicate about the environment? So let's go ahead and talk about this. So this is pictures of a bacterial lawn. So on the right side of the screen is a complete lawn all the way across the plate, up and down and everywhere to be. The left one, there's a lawn as well, except for in the middle, there's this clear zone of inhibition. That's because this experiment used an antibiotic disc, which killed the bacteria around that. So that's not part of the lawn, but everything else is. So to draw a picture of this, the right-hand one is the better one. Take your pencil and lay it down on its side and completely shade in the circle that represents the, back, the, the Petri dish here. The description of this is a uniform or fairly uniform um, color texture um, of the petri dish surface. Uh, just like our, our grass lawn, when you look at it, you can't distinguish one blade of grass from another. When you look at a bacterial lawn on a plate, you cannot distinguish one bacteria colony from another because we're all blended together and growing right next to one another. Uh, what does this tell you then about the environment? It tells you that um, hundreds and thousands of bacteria survived, that the environment was, was, was perfect, was suitable for virtually all the bacteria, that all of them survived. So it shows complete success of the bacteria on that type of a plate. So there was nothing to inhibit or prevent the bacteria from growing. In the next slide we'll take a look at bacteria colonies so you can tell this one already looks very very different um, the agar is clear the bacteria colonies are the whitish round circles in here um, there's some on the left hand plate and some on the right hand plate uh, so colonies we see individual small circles um, that are distinguishable from one another and the each colony resulted from a single bacteria that had survived on the plate and reproduced and as a result of that, a colony contains genetically identical or clones of the original bacteria. So when we're talking about this gene cloning for our lab, this is exactly the type of thing that we're gonna be looking for. Now, what does this tell us about the environment? If we spread bacteria over the entire environment, and this is what it looks like at the end, it means most of the bacteria never survived. It wasn't able to wasn't able or capable of living in this environment, and only a few did, so they must have had some special trait. In our bacterial transformation lab, that trait is going to be the plasmid that you introduced to the bacteria during the lab, which provides some bacteria, those that got the plasmid, resistance to the antibiotic that may be in the plate. Okay, so on this one, of course, you want to draw small circles representing a colony. Um, and again, the description, the colony is, is made from one bacteria that survived reproducing uh, clones in within the colony and that the environment was not conducive for all the bacteria to live, but just some of them. So please complete that too. One more picture I want to show you would be what the starter plates are going to look like for our lab. Um, the purpose of the starter plates is to spread out the bacteria so that we end up with colonies. So you can tell at the beginning, the first streaks that were made were here, and this is a lawn, right? This is solid bacteria. We can't tell one from the other. So several streaks were made back and forth in the plate. The plate was rotated. This was picked up and brought over here. And then this was further streaked out uh, and we can begin to see these colonies, individual colonies, because the bacteria is getting thinned out. The plate was turned again, the streaking went this way. And of course we even have more colonies that we can see. And in the end, the last one went back and forth this way. And so we see individual colonies. So this shows both the lawn, the initial, because it's packed with thousands and thousands of bacteria that survive and we're spreading those bacteria out thinner and thinner until we get individual colonies. When you're placing E. coli into your P. glow microtubules, we want just one of these small round white dots 
a colony. And as I said in the other um, screencast, there are potentially over a million bacteria in one of these. So that's more than enough to have success with our experiment. Okay, well, good luck and, and bring that sheet with you so you can compare and look at that and talk to your partners about that.